carrier NAS for BT um, is super timely because we've used that as the reimagining, uh, one of the biggest reimagining of our networks for, I'd say, the last 15 years. Uh, it's been an opportunity to radically simplify our portfolio, modularize it, um, focusing on many of our areas, collapsing our cores down together. So Carrier NAS for us is not just about the network as a service for um, how we engage with our customers and how our customers consume it as a service and lighting up new channels like self-service for the DIYers or new channels for uh, wholesaling, um, API driven with a fully digital interface. It's also a, a full reinvention into our OSS and our hardware stack as we simplify, reimagine, reposition, become more cloud centric. And the sort of key areas that we uh, is important to us when we're reinventing um, we call our product Global Fabric. And um, the focus of that is the collapsing down and treating as one platform, not just a multi-service core, but a multi-service edge, where we've abstracted the concept of port versus the protocol, which makes our platform far more scalable. But the sort of areas that we focus on is around secure, highly programmable, highly resilient, sovereign, performant, deterministic are some of the key functions. New models of being able to consume, not locking in our customer. Topologies and programming that is making the network AI ready, and of course, cloud ready as well. Highly integrated into the edge of the cloud. For us, NAS meant a real estate change of where our pops are. Um, most telco pops today were designed in an area when the data center was the center of the universe. Now we are relocating our, our pops on our service provider edge at the locations where the hyperscalers expose their edge and we're deeply interconnected. In fact, dual connected in every availability zone around the world so that there is diversity as well. So not only is it operationally resilient, but part of the bedrock of that operational resilience is we're removing the weak points, the single points of failure in the internet that was there before for people who consume AI and cloud to make the network re-engineered from all the way back. So there's a real estate change, a topology change on how we've reimagined what Carrier NAS is. But there's also a stack change. And in terms of the stack change, we Brand different stacks for different products. ELAN, ELINE, Internet, MPLS. We collapse those, collapse those all down into one platform with the concept, of, as I said, of the abstracted port where it's software defined. That port stays sticky for the lifetime of the customer. And we're able to spin up new products and services and do service chaining and attach and do service insertion as we then connect them onto the cloud and to the rest of the world. That is a radically more efficient. Another S in terms of the adjectives to use for this is sustainable. And um, we found that the redesign of our network for the new carrier NAS has many benefits. Of course, we're using the latest, greatest silicon and the best uh, from the best partners in the world. But we've calculated compared to our previous networks, we're using about 76% less electricity. And that has attendant knock-on sustainable reduced carbon footprint. And we're serving 180 countries around the world. It's an absolutely massive scale network. And to have those efficiencies at this scale really helps us help our customers start to achieve their scope three commitments on carbon neutral perspective. So programmable, flexible, agile, secure, sustainable, sovereign, new ways, new language of being able to geofence, to, to start to address some of the big challenges that are coming up, like what about sovereignty for data in motion? You know, sovereignty up on th this point of being data at rest. So those are just a few of the examples of what Carrier 
NAS means to BT. We're super excited about it. It's a brilliant journey. The one other thing that's super important is standardization. Finding ways to be able to connect to our peers so that our networks are transparent to our customers' journeys of their networks. We, we're not so egotistical to think that a customer's journey will only go through our network. We have to work and collaborate with our peers around the world to make ourselves transparent. So standardization and, and creating standards um, around NAS for carrier NAS is also super important to us. And that's why we're collaborating with the MEF and super looking forward to this event. Welcome to 2030, a world where Network as a Service, or NAS, has completely transformed carrier networks across the globe. In this new era, artificial intelligence doesn't just assist, it manages. AI-driven systems now orchestrate complex carrier networks, optimizing traffic flow and network management in real time. Imagine networks that predict and adjust to demand before it happens, ensuring unparalleled efficiency. This is now a reality, thanks to AI management embedded within NOS platforms. But what truly sets the 2030 network landscape apart is the adoption of software-defined infrastructure. Carriers can now deploy, manage, and scale network services at the speed of software, with hardware limitations being a thing of the past. Open APIs have unlocked new potentials in interoperability. Developers around the world use these APIs to integrate diverse systems, allowing for seamless communication between carriers like never before. The result? A truly global, seamlessly interconnected network. Whether it's data from Asia to America or Europe to Africa, NAS ensures that information travels through the most efficient paths possible. Welcome to 2030, where carrier networks are no longer just about connectivity. They are about intelligent, dynamic interconnectivity. NAS has not just transformed networks. It has redefined how the world connects. Join us as we explore how this open framework supporting NAS is being created today. Learn who are the major players and how your company can be involved.